Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Remember those beach bonfires? Maybe you still do it with your family. And right now it's become somewhat of a controversial issue because the AQMD is considering doing away with them. Are they hazardous, dangerous? Do they cause bad air quality? Or are they romantic fun for the whole family? With us now is Alan Mansour. He is an assemblyman and he is working to keep those bonfires uh, part of our culture. Absolutely. Uh, you know, as you mentioned, the AQMD is potentially trying to take them away, and these been, have been part of our family traditions, cultural tr traditions uh, for many people for many years, and for an unele uh, unelected body to try to take them away is, is ridiculous. I mean, what are they going to go after next? Why are they selectively trying to take away the, the, the ones at the beach? Are they going to go after barbecues and fire pits in people's backyards? Uh, you know, it, it, it's where, where does it end? Well, you do have to wonder about that because one of the major points of this argument is that is it a health, it's a health concern because of the air quality or the diminished air quality that it produces. And already, we can't have new wood-burning fireplaces in our homes. Well, I, I could see how it, may, how it may have an impact right at the source. Uh, but regionally, I think it has a very minimal impact. And if it is having an impact, then the argument would be, well, then the ones in the backyards and the barbecues must be having an impact as well. And they did some studies, but the qu it's questionable at best because I want to see where they actually place the meters and any valid study should be backed up by an independent analysis to back up the study. You know, they've been talking about this for a, a while. A year mm -hmm. ago, I was like, oh, no, no more beach bonfires because I personally like them but it's moving along and nothing has happened yet. Where does it stand? Well, th there's a hearing potentially in July and uh, I encourage people to get involved. I mean, we all have great memories, uh, you know, uh, as kids and we want this to, to pass this on uh, to our kids as well, to have these great memories and family times. So I want to encourage all everyone out there, get involved, contact your elected officials, contact the AQMD, uh, let your voices be heard, contact my office, uh, show up at, at rallies and get involved because if they take this away from the beaches, like I said, what's going to be next? Barbecues, uh, fire pits in the backyard, uh, where does it end? This is an unelected body and they shouldn't have this kind of power. Now, what is this decision going to come down to? It, it is going to come down to the AQMD deciding whether it's an air quality issue? Well, they, they, they are potentially going to look at this in July. Mm -hmm. The Coastal Commission actually supported them, saying they're a low-cost uh, venue or alternative for for activity at the beach mm -hmm. and so the Coastal Commission supported them and I believe you know that the local control is the best answer if one community is really having a problem let the local elected officials address that issue but don't punish everyone because one community says uh, they, they don't want them. Well cities have researched even Huntington mm -hmm. Beach which supports them now because they like the revenue that comes mm -hmm. in people come down to the beach have a good time buy a lot of stuff um, they had been concerned in the past because they had lawsuits people fi falling into the pits and it's very costly in that regard. Well you know I, I doubt there's a whole lot of those going on and you could make the same argument if they tried to do gas ones it still could be a safety hazard but I think that's those are few and far between and you have to look at the total economic impacts that tourism brings and also the family family time and cultural uh, time with, with, with family and friends that's invaluable. Okay, so you're trying to get people to go out and uh, speak their minds to the AQMD. Get involved, absolutely get involved. Yes. If the AQMD um, rules against them, is that the end of the game? Not for me, I'm going to keep speaking up and uh, we're going to look at all the alternatives that we have. but. I can't stress enough that people have to get involved and let, let their voices be heard uh, if we want to keep our fire rings. All right. Thank you very much, Alan Mansour, thank for you. being here. And thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie Layton.